Yo guys, welcome back to another video. I've made a mistake. Well, I mean, it wasn't actually my fault, but um, I was filming, or well, I was in progress of filming the third episode of Firewatch. And obviously, we are not at the same point that we were when we left off. But uh, my recording got messed up because my power went out in the middle of filming the episode. So, the footage that I had before this, it, it's gone. And I will kind of just recap. So, we had the fire. Uh, the fire that, uh, yeah, we called it the big fire. Whoa, the big fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. So yeah, we named the fire the Big Fire because Delilah wanted to name it something. I either had the option of naming it Delilah or the Big Fire, and I thought calling it Delilah would be too weird, so I decided to call it the Big Fire. But then we got knocked out here. So I don't remember what point we're actually at. Did I get the Wapiti Station? I don't think so. I think we have to go to the... Yeah, we need, we need to go to Wapiti Station. Oh no, we have to go to the Ruby River because uh, we have to get a... Uh, we have to get something from the firefighters down there. To break into Wapiti Station. So, that's where we were going. That's where we left off. So, it took a little while for my power to come back on, so... Um... It has been a little bit since I actually played it, but luckily I was already like halfway on to getting to Wapiti Station or, or or going to Ruby River when the power went out, so I'm kind of just going to have to replay it a little bit. So yeah, east of the lake. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> okay. I don't actually I'm scream around east of the lake. Hold on. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? So yeah. you'll you heard the Steam message. Super said hello YouTube, but I don't actually use screen record to film my videos. I use game capture, so you can't actually see that the message pop up. But that's what it said. <laughs> Alright, so I think I went down this way to get here. Like, I could go back to Two Forks and then go down. But... Is this even the way I want to go? I think I want to actually go back and go to the Medicine Wheel. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Yeah, I, I, at least I get the map information now, so if I need to ever hike back down here, I won't be confused. Uh, this, it's actually good that... It's actually kind of good that it restarted, because I was going the wrong way. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that... If anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian... Just how scared he would have been. I want to go to Cache uh, 305. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know, Ned. Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or mm. get punched from the I shadows, get you're there. getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Brian is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean... The fact that they just randomly up and went is kind of a little weird. So... It's an interesting looking tree. Big tree. Why is there skis? What? Wait, what did I get? Big tree. 
Okay, so I am going the right way, thank god. I feel a lot better now. The map isn't actually as big as it seems. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Probably not. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I uh, guess. I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. These ones are all stripped too. That's uh, there's an old pretty pond rude. out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign Pork up for pond. it, but um, well, folks kept stealing it. Folks? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's called, called Pork, Pork pond. pond. It's a good goddamn name. That uh, sign would look great in a den, or you know, anywhere. Bro, I bet she stole it. You know what? She probably yeah, stole it. A rob the hole. Yeah, I am. A rob the It's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelows in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Well, Good this plan. looks like high ground. <laughs> It's a long drop. I think I would have gotten strong enough to climb back up some of these drop-offs, but here I am, stuck. Yeah, well, we've all got our limits, Henry. <sighs> yeah. Apparently I'm not that strong. You ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Uh, uh, I, I don't know what we're looking for. Keep the wee blows. Ah, axe, there we go. For the past 35 years, yeah. Firefighters are gone, though. Take a memo? Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, it says Wapiti Station. Days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti this is Station. Our Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need <laughs> someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Huh. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I don't know. Why you ask me? Horned toads. You and I aren't very interesting. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I guess, I don't know. Around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something but why would a doctor care about us? It doesn't make sense. It has to be something else. Consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but... Air trap. My gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Some fire. Okay. So what's next? I think that was I've Ned. Axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I already touched it. Well. Ew. First of all. And second of all. Oh, yeah. Bleh. Clear the block trail. I don't need to tell her that. I already said I'd find my way out. I, I try to listen to most of the dialogue, but some stuff is just a little obvious. Because I feel like this game, you don't get 100% of the experience without all the dialogue. Which is why this game is very uh, interesting to me, because it's, it's very dialogue-driven and not very game-mechanic-driven, almost. Because it's more of like a explore-and-follow uh, task. Oh. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. 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 Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. No. Alright, so 
So, uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> um. Did you just cough? No. no. <laughs> Did you? What the cough? hell was that, dude? No. Oh, fuck. oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I need this. I need this. I need this. I will call you. No! I needed the cash! No! That's the one I wanted! And I just found it. I was going to teleport it back to the tower. I tried. Dang it. I wanted the map information. Oh, crud. Okay. Well. I tried to grab it. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. <clears throat> okay. The big fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, I went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh... Why are you I so didn't chipper? Sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sun up. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is. I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. <laughs> By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower. Uh, what? Yes. It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Ah, uh, yes, it is. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. Cottonwood? It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me, just, um... Internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Second to the left is Cottonwood. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Go to Cottonwood Creek? Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Is that down Radio there? the moment you get there. Cottonwood Creek is... Where is Conrad Creek? Oh yes, it's it's the big tree. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go down there then. Cool, cool, cool. So this is getting weird. So someone's tapping our radios, but why would it be a doctor? It doesn't really make much sense to me. Anyways, I gotta go from two forks. I gotta go all the way. So I gotta go to cash 306, and then from there I can... So, so yeah, I gotta go to Jonesy Lake. Uh, is, th is that the cache I was trying to unlock? Yes, it is. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, okay. Never mind, we can't open that. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cache box there? Uh, yes. I just yes. checked it and the code doesn't work. It's because I changed it. It's oh. five six seven eight. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <It's in a> <laughs> rush. <laughs> uh, okay, so five six seven eight. Why? Like, what's the point in changing it? I want the map information. Oh, there, there's a new radio though. Uh, I found what you left me. Good. Call me back with when you have it. So we're ditching our old radios then. Okay. This is interesting. I got it now. Good. I spent
spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. I know! I have the axe! Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Who is doing this? Huh. I don't know who could be doing this. I'm way off the mic here. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Right. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Hmm. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. <laughs> that that's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. Okay. I need to get into that site. I know, I know, I know. Find something. Yeah, I just want to find this cache first. Aha! I found it. Three hundred seven. All right, sweet, 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 sweet. Perfect. Hee <laughs> hee! Finally! Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't find that, man. That's ridiculous. Take note. Alright, let's read it. Where was powers that we could use us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that. I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her and or mom. Uh, I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter away through a bottle of fives and instead miss you, Dave. Okay. I, all I wanted was the map information, so there we go. We finally got it. Sheesh. Alright, so now we have to get up to Wapiti Station. Hey. Just thought of something not, um, not great. What's that? What is it? What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Why? Why would you say that? What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And... I also, I did not. Well, I mean, I, I didn't say I, that, but I just Henry didn't did. want to be hassled. And now, someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. Yep. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. Yeah, that was a terrible I thing really to need do. To get to the bottom of this. Jonesy like is this way. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we're gonna get to the bottom of it, but you need to not do stupid stuff like that again, please. Please don't be dumb. What the uh, hell was something. that? What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Ah, oh, fuck. How about you don't do that again? It sounded like something out of Subnautica, bro. That legit sounded like the freaking crab squids, man. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna head to Jonesy Lake, and once we're there, we can just go north from from Jonesy Lake and get to Wapiti Station. Okay, let's go over to the gate, and I should be able to open it now. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <sighs> 
I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. Fair enough. Okay. Whoppity. Is that a bee? Seriously, I just got hit by a bee? If you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. Uh, uh, University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the preview of Cat Ferdinand. Uh, remember that this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. I'm going to keep this. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is, is that it? Yeah. Yep. Did it, did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, uh, okay. That sucks. <laughs> Not really much else to say there. I feel like something's gonna pop out at me. Well, how, how did this get to the psychological horror all of a sudden? Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Soil they're doing good. something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? And there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes oh. and stuff on metal legs. There's wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. I might just be monitoring the soil. It's a bit of a leap. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Biff. I know you're there, so Biff. See what you can find. <laughs> Come, out. Biff. That's funny. Can I steal some of the food? Give me that peanut butter. Biff. Biff. We can't take it, unfortunately, but that's okay. Wave receiver? I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. <laughs> anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Just a new compass? Or caught. It's Please beeping a lot, so there's something around here, here transmitting. I know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. Nah, I've got more exploring to do. There's something like right here. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. No one's here, don't worry. Subjects Henry M. Delilah A. What the hell? Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of them. I think I can read them, no? Henry M, age 39, program status review, 10 weeks. So they are, tr they are tracking us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it... Oh, what, what does it say about her? That's a good question. Page 43, program status. 10 weeks is circled. 
Observational traits reliable, considering alcoholism. Oh? She's an alcoholic? Observant, charisma charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Pertinent ob observed facts, never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings, multiple lovers despite longtime partner, name Javier. E.G. What the heck? Looks oh. like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the- One sec. I'm sorry. There's a lot oh, to take in here. I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. Tracking we routes that I take? Place down. Oh, no, it's not a good idea. That's Think insane. About it. Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. I think Delilah's crazy. Be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah, maybe. Oh my god, Delilah, no. She's no way. nuts, bro. She's nuts. Well, Henry, get away. It's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! Just hoof it. It's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Head back to your forks? That's weird. It's not teleporting us back. That means something else is gonna happen. Is there anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, that's weird. Delilah's crazy, bruh. Um, no, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I, mean, I just climbed out what? there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. Well, I it didn't do me. it. <sighs> what do we do? Call it in. We just call it in like any other fire. The person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Jump off the cliff. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Okay. What the heck, dude? Day 77. <clears throat> I don't know how much longer the game is. Should I stop it here? I, I think I'm going to stop here for the episode. Who is listening to us? He's got everything marked. Alright, but I think I'm going to end off the episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy. This game's really picking up pace now, which is very interesting. There's a lot of different things going on. We got the missing people, uh, Ned and his son. Uh, it seems like, it, it, yeah, missing person. Which is, uh... Oh no, that's somebody else. But yeah, her missing lookouts, Ned. And, uh... People listening to Delilah and I. And then we have the, ran the random creepy guy. We have the girls that are have gone missing. There's a lot of different variables in the game right now. And I'm interested to see where it all goes. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode of Firewatch. I'm getting very interested. And see you guys. Peace out. Bye-bye.